Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. There we are. Episode five. Free pizza and vodka podcast. Is that what it is? A free vodka and pizza? No way, it's free pizza and vodka. I get confused sometimes, kind of like this music. And joining me all the way from Los Angeles, California, A, hey, Mr. Jonas Garvin. Welcome to the show, sir. Hey, what's up? I wish I was in a better mood, but, uh, you know, I don't often fumble on the one yard line. No, we're not talking any football until we get to that football okay. segment. You have to choke okay, on that all right, shit. Then I'm going I'm to go in the other room because I'm <laughs> fucking extremely pissed off right now. Walk it um, off. But, yeah, just like the Tony uh, Romo commercial when he tells the guy just to, you know, get a beer. Yeah, and then, yeah exactly. I, what I need is about 14 Coronas right now <laughs> to put my mind at ease. And uh, But you know what? In other news, uh, I'm a dad. Whoa. We got to hear about this. We mean dad. You and your lady uh, yeah. finally actually had some sex, or what? No, no, we've been together 13 <laughs> years, so sex is not something we do. I mean, that's just like you know, I, uh, you know, she she looks at uh, at those pictures you put on Instagram of guys with lost four abs, and I jerk off in her shoes. It's just what we do now. You yeah, know, so been together so long. We got a we have a new Instagram account. Thanks for bringing that up really quickly before you uh get into your your fatherhood story. Um we we we've moved from wherever the hell it was we were before. So we're at Free Pizza and Vodka um on Instagram. So that's just Free Pizza and Vodka the word and you guys. So check that out. Follow us over there and uh that's where you can get all the updates and whatnot and of course your Oh, following. and before I forget, yeah. I have I've started this this hashtag Hashtag free pizza and vodka, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go right here because you know I'm doing my new uh, comedy special in the spring, which means I need to make room in my warehouse, and by warehouse I mean the guest room closet, um, <laughs> uh, for the DVDs. Uh, now here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I know that I already buy drinks for people that that come to me at the shows and the bars and stuff like that and mention the podcast, but I'm gonna say to anybody listening right now, if you just hashtag free pizza and vodka on anything you do on social media or just come to my page, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is, and you do that, and then you just inbox me your address, and I will ship you my last two comedy specials on DVD. Wow. Absolutely free. I'll, I'll pick up the shipping. Now, here's the bad part. You're actually going to have to go to the Smithsonian to watch them on DVD because nobody has a DVD <laughs> just player like TV. I was like, DVD <laughs> player? That's like those guys yeah. out on the street that are trying to get you to buy their new hip-hop CD, and I'm like, dude, this? Exactly. You're not and even you fucking... Now, you're not even trying to. Throw to. In <laughs> a one-year membership to Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you getting but the yeah, new? Or is the new comedy like, special you're doing? Is it going to be on DVD as well? Or are you going to put it on like MP3, just make it available online? No, here's what it's going to be. Well, the last one I did is is, is on iTunes and all that and all that stuff. But this one, uh, since we're doing it at the whiskey, which is what we're planning on doing at the whiskey, go on Sunset Strip. Uh, it's going to be a downloadable version online, all that stuff. But actually, what I'd really like to do, since we're doing it, we're doing the whole rock and roll thing, because mm. uh, as we've discussed before, I've always wanted to be an imitation rock star. Mm. I'm going to get this one pressed on vinyl as well, like old school Richard Pryor type <laughs> shit, like on vinyl. And I guarantee you, no one's going to buy it, but I don't give a shit because I'll be able to say I actually, I've done three one-hour specials. I've put out CDs, DVDs, tapes, VHS, all that shit. I've never had like an actual like, album you know like a, a vinyl album that i can sit there and watch collect dust that's awesome I'm, i'll buy so i will buy one just because i like to have album and album cover like that on the wall of my studio that would be pretty fly to see yeah you know you i know? think that would look and, pretty and cool there be like liner notes and all sorts of cool shit that's the thing that the, this generation of kids doesn't understand is the whole great part about music <laughs> was going and buying the albums and the cds and reading the liner notes and everything now they just buy it by the song there's no there's no yeah but i do that shit know, too uh, now i don't want to, when's the last time i actually bought a cd where i was like yeah this whole cd is fire i'm glad i paid the 20 dollars or whatever for the whole thing i can't even begin see, to i'm tell a you. purist so i i'm actually holding a cd in my hand that has a sticker on it that says out of print it's the nwa legacy volume one i bought it yeah, but that's old shit ago. though that's not new that's not like you went out and bought like the Kings of Stone well, Age, is, is you know, mine. or the new DJ Khaled or whatever you listen to, you know, they, you don't go, you don't go buy that brand new. 
No, no, because nothing coming out right now is worth a fuck. That's like, what I'm saying. All, That's why you only buy one song. Yeah. You know, you don't buy the whole disc. I, I wouldn't buy any. Well, okay, so now, now we're going to call out all the artists and musicians right now. Why don't you guys get back to putting out a quality album and we'll buy it? Because that's not how the business is anymore. It doesn't work like that no, anymore. The, it's all no, about streams. It's all about streams. And, and no, it's about streams. I'm talking about from a business standpoint. It's all about streams. Why? So you, if you, that's that's why you're only needing to make one. A lot of I know a lot of like artists. They only make one song and release that song, and then they'll release one song and they'll release three and then, songs. And then they they. They start a flash mob at the Shoe Palace at the Highland Center. But they're banging. In Highland. But that's what's happening right now. Yeah. So we, you, yeah, we just come from a different disgusting. era. That's all. You just come from a different era where that shit wasn't an option. You had to put out a whole, you know, chunk of music at once. You, people used to put out what that looked 45, but that only had two songs well, on oh, it. Do you remember? Sample well, we, tapes? We came up with the, uh, the mixtape. <laughs> well, mix we tapes, we started mixtapes, but they used to do, like, sample tapes. I remember... Uh, uh, the singles. Uh, yeah, the singles. I used to work at Harmony House, and you know it had like three songs on it or something like that. It only cost you about three or four yeah. bucks. Those were fly, but um, it'd be had some remix. It would have remixes on that, like the Goldie version of some shit. But anyway, um, B sides, all that cool shit. <laughs> the um, but anyway, yeah. So if you guys hashtag that free pizza and vodka. Inbox me and I'll make sure you get some comedy specials. Yeah, excellent. We'll we'll push that definitely. Uh, that's a, that's a fly idea. So, um, yeah, I'll get that album, put it up on the wall. Shout out to the guy that made our logo for the free pizza and vodka podcast. That's a dope logo. We've got nothing but compliments Dude, if you from need it. Any graphic design work, Benito Spirita. Um, you can inbox me for his info as well. He's he's friends with me on Facebook and and uh, and all that stuff. He does all my graphic design work, all my flyers, everything, all my shows. Um, he's 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 hot right now. Like like there's a as in the music and comedy and entertainment in graphic design and commercial world, there's like people that are hot. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like the go to guy. He is the go to guy for like making logos and stuff like that in uh, Minneapolis. Yeah. And uh, like he's just he's killing it, man. And and the fact that we actually got him to do ours as busy as he as he is is shocking because um, you generally don't get people of that level to do shit for people on the price he did for, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, <laughs> it's just to get to work with somebody like that, that that's, that's kind of like getting uh, Jay Z to do our, our, our theme song. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So you're putting him up there with Jay Z then. That's a well, lofty. You've seen the logo. That's lofty. <laughs> you've seen the logo. So hit this guy up, you guys, if you want some logo stuff. It's pretty fly. So um, tell yeah, us about this dog great. that you got. Okay, so because I'm seeing all these pictures, and um, he's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a father now, or some shit like that. I just yeah, saw no, I'll, I'll put him up. <laughs> um, I'll put him up on Instagram. So like, my girl and I've been shopping for a, a puppy for a few months, right? We just can't, we've been looking at dogs and looking all over, looking online, they're going to rescue things. So yesterday we had to buy some light bulbs. Give me a second. The story will make sense. Mm. Um, the light bulb in my kitchen burned out and it's one of these light bulbs that looks like a, a coil spring type deal that apparently they don't make anymore. So we go to Home Depot, uh, which I'll get to that in a minute because apparently I'm famous on, on aisle five. Cool. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But, um, they, they don't have them there. So we go to the Anawalt Lumbers. We go to the Coons Hardware um, in West Hollywood. And then we, you know, we stop for Margarita. And we then we, they're like, hey, you got to go to... <laughs> this is really hard work, man. I think we need to stop and have a Margarita. Dude, you have no idea. We need to stop. And, of my life. We need to have a Cadillac so, Margarita. We anyway, um, we go to Light Bulb Warehouse. I didn't even know they had light bulb stores. There's a tire <laughs> store just dedicated to light bulbs. I'm like, okay, cool. So we go there. They don't have it, but their Santa Monica location has it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm in Beverly Hills, and I'm like, I'm not driving all the way to freaking Santa Monica on a freaking Saturday. I don't want to go all the way past the VA. And the guy's like, oh, it's on Wilshire, right across from O'Brien's Pub. To where she says, if you go, I'll buy you a pint and a shot. All right, let's go to Santa Monica. Cool. Who, who so said that? We go. Your partner, your woman. Off. My chick. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she, she's like, she, she baits me with... Mm promises of free Guinness and Jameson. Mm. And uh, so we go, we get our light bulb. We go to O'Brien's, which is a killer Irish bar. On I the know that side. place. Is um, it right there? Like on the street side and you can sit outside. Yeah. And, yeah. 
I went yeah. there with this doctor friend of mine, Sarah Stuchel. Shout out to Sarah. Um, Sarah's the girl yeah. who I put up on Instagram picture of her throwing up in my toilet. <laughs> uh, love you, girl. Yeah, anyway. all, all the doctors are around. There's a ton of medical centers right there, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we have a, a few pints. Well, I do anyway. She has like a, a Coke hmm. and because uh, she's a normal person. She's not drunk. And uh, right. so we're leaving and... We're driving down Wilshire, and they got this sign up at like this store. It's like free pet adoption today, and we're like, "Well, let's just pull over and see what they have." Right. And we pull in, and they got this one black and white dog, and she's like, "Well, she's kind of cute." I'm like, oh, "You know, whatever." I'm like, "I'm really," and I'm like, "Okay, get her out of the cage, and let's take a look at her." And the dog gets out of the cage and comes right up to us and just like lays on our feet and, and like starts licking us. And like, I'm like, all right, let's find the papers. Mm. Let's just do this right now. Cause this dog is coming over with us. And, uh, so we named her Wrigley O'Brien, um, <laughs> because of O'Brien's pub and Wrigley because we're cub fans. Right. And, uh, she's the coolest dog. Like, but I'm telling you, dude, I don't see how people have children because I've, I was up at four in the morning. I'm going to take this freaking dog outside. And, uh, four in the morning. Uh, and like you said, yeah. Why are you taking the dog out at because, four o'clock in the morning? Uh, because my buzz wore off and I had I woke up and mm. I took the dog out. But like I don't see how people do like there's it's a lot of work. I don't take the dog out and, at uh, four a.m. I've had dogs my whole life. You better put that dog on a normal cycle before it fucks your life up. Do you normally yeah, up no, at four a.m.? No, she's <laughs> me. Yeah. yeah. You know, just just I am, and I'm petting her right now, and she's she's just the perfect little dog mm, and uh mm. she's a half half border collie half labrador cool can you Very hear her tag cool. her tag wagon for her tail but uh yeah so that's that's what's going on over here right now she's now she's learning the nuances of screaming at the television mm. and watching football well you'll but, be all uh, right because your team just picked off uh, miami when they were about to catch a pass for a touchdown so that, that made yeah, up for but, you uh, giving it up on the one yard line so <laughs> no nothing makes up for that <laughs> you 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 if you fumble on the one you basically like to me i don't even know how he sells a uniform on i'd have caught him right then and there that happens so speaking of sex dolls i was looking at some news <laughs> speaking the other day. of sex dolls <laughs> Yeah, that's I'm how I, a, 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 I adopted a dog, and you bring up a sex doll. That's how I. That's how I transitioned, dude. That's my segue. So, um, I like it. We. I was reading this article online yesterday, day before, and they were talking about Amazon, and all these people are all pissed off at Amazon.com. I'm. Uh, I'm not sure why. Well, I am sure why. I mean, but I don't. I don't agree because they them, own the world. Why they're upset with them? So they're selling these sex dolls, and uh, apparently there's this one doll that they've reintroduced or have introduced. And their complaint is that this doll is just a little bit too childlike, and it looks like a little kid. So, um, well, there's yeah, two arguments protesting. on that because, yeah, well, because here's the deal: I'd rather have somebody fucking a doll that looks like a little kid than fucking a little kid. Okay, so. If, if, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what you're what saying. Get out of your system. I know what you're saying, and that is that's part of the argument that people have for child dolls. But this isn't really. I don't know if this was for that. There's. I get what you're saying. I totally get what you're saying, and people are arguing that side of it. But I just think the doll. Yeah. You know, they're just pissed off because the doll kind of it looks young, and it's probably a small in stature type doll. You know, which a lot of women are small people. They're smaller. You know, I know three people Check right now face. that are five feet tall. Women. You know, so it's not unbelievable to have a doll that's that's that small. Anyway. Um, yeah, I was. I got a good sex doll story for you, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> we we were having this conversation on a podcast like a year ago or something like that, and we were talking about sex dolls. And um, but Amazon sells all kinds of stuff, so I don't know what the big deal with this one is. I mean, they're not being advertised as children, so they just say. Well, that's that's it too. Like, and so what? I mean, to me, like, it's a it's a fucking everybody's got their weird freako fetish hang up sex weirdo shit i mean you know if somebody gets a, an inflatable pig and wants to have their way with it so what it, it keeps you from from, from harming a, a, an actual pig or a child or a cow or whatever you know like so you know if people are like oh this doll looks like a child so fucking what it's 
it's a doll. Well, and, yes, exactly. I mean, to me, the yes, is the, it wrong and creepy? Of course, but like at the same time, it's like okay, say some, say some John Wayne Gacy or whatever fucking weirdo gets this doll because he wants to fuck a kid, but he gets the doll instead. Guess what? Now your kids are safe because he's got a freaking Cabbage Patch kid yeah. in the closet that he's, you know. So I mean, I just I don't I don't. And then, of all things, that people argue about fucking sex dolls, really? Uh, yeah, but these like, these the, the the thing is is that when you're when you've got this psychological issue where you want to have you know when you want to touch kids, you need to kill you, yourself, like Dennis Miller says. You you don't solve that by getting a doll because it's. There's something about the pursuit and the you know there's there's all this nuance that's there between this this creep and the little kid, you know there's something psychological about it, them you know dominating these child. I'm sure there is, so I don't think that that's gonna fix anything. Um, Are you saying it's like giving it's like giving O'Doul's to an alcoholic? <laughs> Dude, it's like it fix your fucking problem. No, you're not exactly. You know? You're not going to stop drinking because somebody can give you out non-alcoholic beer. Exactly. So yeah, uh, so I get what you're saying, but like the thing is, like you said, it's not marketed as a child doll. No. So no. You know, um, you know what? What? what I mean, people just need to fucking. Does it look like it? I, I don't know. You got to send me some pictures. Yeah, like, it I, doesn't. I, it does. It looks like a little little. It looks like a young. Kid, <laughs> Just to be fair, it's got <laughs> pigtails. It's hair, you know, long blonde hair and little oh, pigtails, and no. it got little bows in the fucking pigtails. You know, excuse me, but it just does. So, yeah, fair enough on that. It looks like a, a like fourteen year old kid. That's no bueno. No. Hey, you want to hear a good sex doll story? Uh, yeah, we got. Okay, so when I lived in Minneapolis, uh, the guy I moved out here with. He was a comedian at the time too. We decided to leave Minneapolis. He was he was friends with my ex girlfriend. That's how we met and everything. We kind of dabbled in stand up comedy at the same time. We started out in early two thousand. Mm. Anyway, he's over at the, at the pad, and uh, I don't know if anybody listening has ever been to Minneapolis. There's a place called Sex World. It's like a three story sex shop. It's a huge warehouse. Uh, I don't even know if it's still there, but they have like a peep show. They have an adult bookstore. They have like video. It's just it's it's basically like a Toys R Us mega warehouse, but for fucking adult things, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm like, hey, I got to run there and, and get a couple videos for the chick because she, you know, want to wear Okay, cool. He's like, I'll ride along with you. So we walk in the store. Yeah, it's still there, he, by the way. It's on 2nd Avenue. Uh, yeah, yeah, in the warehouse. It's, it's <laughs> rad. So anyway, um, he splits off those one thing. So I, I go to the cashier with, with my videos and a, a couple of toys for the chick. And, um, and he comes walking up with this giant box under his arm. And I'm like, it, it's a, it's an inflatable sex doll. And I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do with that? And he's like, pretty much anything I want. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay. You know, <laughs> so we get, he was supposed to stay for dinner. It was a Sunday night. Cause I was going to make dinner. Hmm. I was going to do some steaks on the grill and stuff like that. Right. I'm like, I'm like, Hey, you know, you stay for dinner. He's like, we get back to the house. He's like, no, 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 I gotta get home. I got stuff to do. I'm like, okay. So he races home. Right. Well, he worked with my ex at the time. Right. So I call her at the office the next morning and I'm like, Hey, did, uh, did Mikey, uh, bang that, that inflatable doll? She says, well, he wanted to, but by the time he got done blowing her up, he was so tired and lightheaded that he just went to sleep. Like, <laughs> that's just like you—you you basically cock teased yourself, dude. It's so, like all I'm picturing is him just like inhaling and exhaling and trying to blow his doll up, and then he's just like, "Fuck it, I'm I'm, I'm done." Yeah, he made you know? various mistakes there. Right, first off, you got to get a pump if you're gonna if you're gonna yeah, yeah exactly you gotta yeah, get or, one, like or one of those... go to the gas station yeah and, and spend the fifty cents. Well, I don't think the nozzle and, and, will be quite the same for your car, but the one of them like yoga yoga ball. Uh, well, the nozzles pumps. come in all sizes. And those yoga ball pumps, but anyway, we don't have those problems anymore now because they're made out of TPC and silicone, so they're you know 
they're just pretty much grab and go. So you, uh, yeah, and now apparently now they're made out of young children, you can, according to your story. You can, you've <laughs> seen there. You can uh, some just, Hannibal Lecter shit. You can just skeet and skedaddle, man. You can just come and go at the same time. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Just be out of there. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I mean, the doll is only like sixty-five pounds over here, so it's about seventy-five dollars, maybe you know, eighty bucks. So they got other ones where they're okay. They're if you, you, really like cheap. sixty-five pounds, I'm thinking of a sixty-five pound child, like in weight. Like you're, you're talking money. I'm like, okay. No. Now I've got a problem because the thing much of a second grader. <laughs> no. So there's all kinds <laughs> of stuff that's cranking off over here with that, though. So there's like Italy's got like a these booming sex doll brothel businesses that are popping up over there. Um, are you saying that the, there's people paying to have sex with sex dolls? Uh, all right, so I'll tell you this because I haven't talked to you. I was actually looking into opening one of those myself about a year ago. And, you know, I, uh, I, I completely agree. I can totally understand paying for sex with a live woman. Does uh, well, I, I that's, get that. That's I've done fine, it. but it's it's business, man, and it's uh, there's a need for it. It's out there. So. Why would you pay? Why would you pay for sex with a doll? Okay, so the, I can I can stop that why question. Why not just buy the doll? I can stop that question partially through. Why would you pay for sex? So some people pay for sex. Some people would say, we "Why all pay for it in one way or another?" Yeah, the, don't don't get into that. But you know what I'm saying. This is a direct transaction for for the sex. I, okay, I'll tell you right now. I'll you tell know. you what. Charlie Sheen said it best. I don't pay hookers for sex. You I pay, pay them to leave when I'm done. Yeah, no. That's, yes, that's lots and that's of why. Say that. That's what you and do, but they, they won't leave until you pay. I have. It's fucking rad. No, but see, that's what I'm hookers saying. Are the so, only way to go. And it's just like George Costanza said. It's just like parking spots. If I try hard enough, I can get it for free. I'm not paying. So. um I get that, you know what you're saying, but that's just what some people are into. That's their kink, man. They're gonna, they want the doll. Oh, that's true. But the dolls aren't cheap. So if you want a nice doll, I'm gonna pay uh, probably about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for this doll. So okay, so so I'm telling you right now, as much as I'm talking shit about people paying for sex with dolls, if you open up a bang a doll shop. Hmm. I will be your first customer. Just, I mean, you know. Probably not. It'd I mean, be, I'm talking. <laughs> it's the thing of it is, is just logistically, it's too expensive. So, I mean, if I lived somewhere like Palmdale or something Hysteria. like that. I, right. Yeah. <laughs> you, Back we go to Palmdale. You can afford to do something like that. That's the kind of area that I'm in myself. I could pull it off. It could be pulled off. Like we've, I, I, I'm serious. We ran the numbers on this, like big time. So now I'm at the point where I actually just sell the dolls online. So you can buy the dolls for me over at siliconeslut.com. <laughs> if you're on the internet, the website's actually under construction right now. I've actually got that, and we got foxyfred.com. You can go to foxyfred, two X's, two D's, foxyfred, and buy your own little sex doll. So um, you thought I was joking until I just said that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so we were looking at opening no, the places. Now, now I'm like, now I'm like, I'm opening the, my new dog up here because she's looking at me like in a totally different light. Like you're a fucking wet. Yeah. I don't know. If I, I, can you take me back to the adoption center, please? I don't know if I want to stay here. So you're the action to a guy in England about fuck all. The the actions out there. You have to also appreciate the fact that over here in Europe they're a lot more liberal with their sexuality. I mean, we have nude beaches over here. It, you know, it's no big deal. They do porn. You know, everywhere is the valley over here, you know, so it's not as big. Yeah, that's one thing that really pisses me off about America is this, still <laughs> this this whole family values right wing yeah. bullshit. Uh, like, you know, I mean, and no one, and no one's, and no one's hurting anybody and no one's living like that. For you know, real. so. So, yeah, so that's why the dolls are they're popping over here right now. So, you know, I can make money selling them. Um, most people would rather go to the place because they don't have to deal with it. Um, they might not want to have have it at home. They're, they got a wife or whatever or kids or whatever. So uh, they don't want their wife to know about it. You go and you hit that little silicone and go home, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go fuck a toy and then go home to my wife. Well, you don't have to worry about, like, you know, diseases and shit. Well, that is, that's the problem. I'm, See, that's part of the problem, actually. They shut one of the places down. I think it was in Italy. Um, 
because you can't. Oh God, just please tell if you, if you say that they didn't clean the dolls, that's I'm gonna fucking what, throw up. That's what they I'm were. Over as fuck. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying, though. So you can get the oh. disease from that, and I'm not saying that they did. They just might not have been cleaning to the standard of you know whatever whatever the case was. I don't. Right know. now, in my head, what I have pictured in my head is <laughs> is like a mannequin that somebody threw a dozen Krispy Kreme hot glazed donuts on right now. <laughs> that's what's in my head right now, and I'm really grossed <laughs> out. Like I don't. I can't eat donuts. I, if I walk by, if I go down Hollywood Boulevard this afternoon, because she's going to want to go somewhere with the dog, right. I'm going to see the mannequins in the store, and I'm just going to puke. I'm just, I mean, I've, I've put down a couple beers and a shot to get rid of this hangover, but I'm going to throw up because after what you just told me, all I picture is is a is a plastic body with hot glazed donuts all over it, dude. It's just so <laughs> gross. So, I mean, I, I've, I've watched TV shows over here where they're talking about, there's actually brothels. I mean, this, this film crew goes to this brothel and, um, you know, and, and they, brothels they, are good. they call it like a club, you know, and the guys go there and they hang out with the girls and they drink or whatever and they watch TV or whatever. Then they have like upstairs is where all the rooms are. Um, well, if you, if you call anything a club, then it's acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like it, it's if you just whatever you, if you call it a club, then it's it's fine. Like look yeah. at all these outlaw motorcycle gangs, <laughs> clubs in America. Oh, clubs. And you have them in London. It's a club. It's a club. Clubs. Oh, okay, cool. Fire up the fire up the bratwurst and clubs. let's have a bonfire. We're a club, you know. They're clubs. So yeah. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, let's uh, transition into sports and then so because I know people were dying to talk about it so I will, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a, a lesser of a segue um, that I did uh, or a better segue than the one that I did last time um, I'm not really into boxing but I thought this story was funny so Deontay Wilder is um, going to be fighting I think it's Tyson Fury coming up and um, he's out promoting the show he's on ESPN Mexico I don't know what the damn you know station specific was but it was a, an ESPN Dojo. It was ESPN <laughs> in Spanish in Mexico. So um, he's 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 got like they've got like this mascot there, and Deontay goes and you know they they're pretending to box or the thing's got gloves on, and Wilder just goes off and decks this thing in the face and ends up breaking the guy's jaw that's inside the costume. And then he goes on to claim that he didn't know that there was really somebody inside the costume. The costume was dancing around before he whacked it. And, I mean, he hauled off and decked it hard. He, like, stepped into it twice and then punched it. It was the most messed up thing ever, man. And this guy's just laying there on the ground, just rolling back and forth, just busted up. It was hilarious. You got to watch this video. So, yeah, send it to me. So he says he doesn't know there was anybody in the costume. Well, that's what he claimed. I mean, he apologized and everything and said, you know. Now, did he claim the exact same thing when he went to the plastic doll fuck hut? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I mean, because, well, you, you could say, you know, if you went to the, the, the sex doll brothel, I didn't know there was anybody inside there, if there was somebody inside <laughs> I guess I'm reaching. I don't know. Yeah, I, that's a reach. My mind works different than everyone else. That so, joke I sucks. Guess, I don't know. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I wouldn't close with it. <laughs> don't worry, folks. This will not be at the Laugh Factory. Uh, all right, so I got to just get into NFL last week. We'll cover last week, and then we'll catch up with what's going on right now, like your quarterback that just tripped at the 50-yard line when he could have ran it all the way in for a touchdown. Um, See, I'm in the kitchen doing a shot, <laughs> and, like, and now you're telling me what I'm missing. I'm <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so anyway <laughs> i didn't see that i just it's gotta different. start i just gotta start with last week's miami cincy game you're we talking all this shit about cincinnati they were down 17-0 at the half right we're or still just, talking shit about or, them. or just after the half cincinnati oh, oh, i don't know maybe cincinnati comes back to score 27 unanswered points in the second half to smash okay, the dolphins great. dude they were right. uh they were the obviously They're still not gonna do anything. <laughs> if... They're not to be trusted. <laughs> Feeling a bit defeated, how do, is Miami gonna come into Chicago was the big question. So now we're looking at that game now. And uh it's a really good game, but we'll catch up on that game in a bit. So it's an awful game. Well it's like watching baseball. Uh, for, yeah. <laughs> My favorite game is the week five. Um Carolina Panthers. Wow, what a game, you guys. Carolina looks like uh, you know, they had the win and then, you know, they they get 
scored on with one minute left. <laughs> um, they're losing by what one point? I think it was. They're losing by one point, and then Cannon Cam Newton just chucks the ball downfield, gets them in the field goal range, right? Like 60, 62 yard field goal. I'm sitting here just laughing my ass off, just going, I can't believe they're about to lose this game. One point with a minute left, 62 yards, and the son of a bitch kicks the thing with like three seconds, four seconds left on the clock and wins the game. That is a dope game. I'm all well, for Carolina. What's up? Well, yeah, no, and, and don't get me wrong, dude. Uh, Charlotte is where I consider my home city. It's where I grew up. Uh, but the Panthers were not there. I mean, I'm, I'm a Bears fan. That's just the way it is. But, I, you know, I'll root for the Panthers and stuff like that because I got a lot of friends that, you know, still live in Charlotte, and they grew up there, and guys I went to school with. Um, but uh, I just wanted to bring up the point. Do you Like the 62-yard field goal, do you remember growing up where, like, anything over, like, 45 yards was just not even attempted? That was a long field goal. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, nowadays – Touchdown, Chicago! Yeah, Bears just uh, tied it. <clears throat> now, nowadays, these guys, dude, I can't even, I can't even uh, shoot my rifle that far. <laughs> these guys are kicking these fucking field goals from 55, 60, 65 yards. Mm. It's unbelievable. Mm. Like, have you? I mean. The, the size that, of no, I haven't, I haven't seen anybody kicking it that far, but 62 yards was definitely like insane. Is up there. Yeah, it's up there. I That's was watching the, this thing. I, Go ahead. No, I'm just saying it's like it's like even the kickers. Like remember remember growing up, and again we're showing our age. Remember after going to the record store, god damn it, we'd come home and watch <laughs> some football and and there'd be a five foot three Latino guy barefoot kicking. You know, oh, with yeah, his, I remember with barefoot his one kickers. leg and a moon boot. You never see barefoot kickers anymore, do you? No, <laughs> which is weird. No, you don't see. You know, that. and it used to be like a little skinny Latino guy mm. was your kicker. Now the kickers look like fucking linebackers. Yeah, well, they had to change that up. They, those guys started realizing they could make more money playing real football, European football. So, yeah, yeah and it, well, I mean, I'm sure a lot of listeners are in Europe, so you're familiar with strong legs and great kicks and everything, but like 62 yards is like three-fourths of a soccer field, is it not? <laughs> I was watching this thing. There's this thing called NFL... Oh, I wish I could remember. I'll have to try and dig it up. I would show the video, and this is this is off the heels of last week's video uh, show. If you guys watch the shows on YouTube or at V3 TV, um, I had a lot of the uh, highlights from the Lions game that we were talking about, highlights from the Bears game, and like the NFL monetized. They monetized my video. <laughs> so I'm not showing any more NFL videos because I'm not giving them any views. Not that this is a new podcast, so it's not going to matter right now anyway. So it's fine. But um, the NFL has these videos. They're like training videos of all these guys that play football, and they show them doing this stuff that is just like ridiculous. Like I was watching one. No, it's like it's like the, watching the world's strongest man contest. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, like three that. in the morning. So the guy kicks this kicks the football at the bell tower inside a church, which is like you know like an easy hundred yards away, <laughs> and he kicks yeah, and, it and, and then, dings and then the he bell. Tied man. some dental floss to a Sherman tank. <laughs> puts it in his teeth and toes it up a hill. And, well, it's all football stuff that I <laughs> one saw. One more rep, all one, you. One guy, one guy throws a football, and they're on like a construction site, and this guy punches through a, a piece of drywall and catches the football on the other side of it without even looking while it's coming at him. It is dope. It is so cool. So anyway, so yeah, so these guys are animals. If we just let them just play play, I think football would be really cool. It would be really cool. No, exactly. Get rid of the fucking helmets, the shoulder pads, and all that shit. Well, that's what rugby is, then. <laughs> that's all that rugby is, which is why rugby is so fly, man. It's like people sleep yeah, on rugby. Yeah, but rugby doesn't have enough, have enough uh, scoring and commercial breaks to be TV popular. Right. Well, rugby, um, rugby because it's nonstop, really. It doesn't, you know, it's not. Well, that's the thing. It's, 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 like, it's like hockey. And the thing is, you got to understand, in Europe, Soccer and rugby, it works because you guys actually care about the sport and, and all the nuances of it. Hmm. In America, all we want to see is 
big plays, highlights, and fucking beer commercials. That's you know, with with pits and ass and we you know, that's why football is so successful because it stops every five seconds and there's a commercial. Mm. And you know, and baseball is is great. Not yeah. on TV but live because we can just sit there and drink and, and they're just you know, but football is the way to go because it stops every five seconds. There's a ton of scoring. Mm. There's big highlighted plays. Like you don't you don't see that eighty five yard strike in rugby. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, uh, we're Americans. We're stupid fucking people. We like, uh, we like shiny objects. We like giant trucks. Ooh, a nickel. We like, uh, you, you know, I mean, Jesus Christ, how do you, how else do you explain the success of, of like Larry, the cable guy? And, you know, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but like, we're not, we're not a fucking Mensa Harvard people over here. Yeah, as a I mean, society like, as a whole over in the United States definitely does not have as retarded. high an IQ as some of the... Like, here's here's an example, I, and then this is just random, obviously. I do these little parties on the weekends where I go to birthday parties for little kids, and I do science experiments. You know, I wear a little lab coat, and, you know, we make stuff smoke and blow up and all that crap. So I was at this party tonight, or this afternoon, and... Um, it was for this kid, and he was probably, I think he turned nine years old or maybe turning ten, one of the two. This was an older kid's party. It's usually like five, six, seven years old. This kid, well, to be fair, both his parents were scientists. Like his mom was a food scientist. His dad did something else. So he knew stuff, you know. Like I would be asking the kids questions, and he knew like exactly what was going on. And I'm like, you're nine ten years old and you're telling dude i'm telling you right now <laughs> he's asking me about vortexes person. he's like is that a vortex yeah. effect or is that i'm like you're you're asking me that to me vortex <laughs> i think they're talking about like really tight shorts you know like it, 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 i've never met one person that's from another country that's not educated like and and can carry a conversation you know what i'm saying like they they know things but I meet so many freaking Americans mm. that, you know, they're like, oh, oh, where'd you live before L.A.? I'm like, Minneapolis. They're like, oh, is that New Orlando? Mm. I'm like, no, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's just we do not value education in this society, which is really, really a shame. Like, no, you don't. It's, you, you, you know, but, but don't. over every other country, except for like... Uh, you know the ones that have like AK-47s and and, and third, grass hot third world nations, yeah. Which are great to vacation at because they're cheap as fuck. Mm -hmm. Dominican, shout out! I love your rum and your beer. Yeah, but I mean, but, you have to really imagine this as well. Like a lot of the times, you're dealing with a larger population. The United States has a, a ton oh, yeah, we more got people. A people here. Oh, I mean, no, Chicago oh, just million, intercepted like, the ball and they're running it back for a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> are you on a Are you on a bigger feed than me? Uh, so See, I'm just getting it now. Well, you're eight hours ahead. <laughs> you're you're Marty McFly. I'm watching. You got the flux capacitor. I'm, I'm over watching there. it you're on the internet. That's why you're watching it on TV and HD. So your feed is going to be about. I'm watching it two on seconds. a giant TV. No, I got a new TV. I'm by watching the way. It on my on my computer. So anyway, my next. When you have a two bedroom apartment, you need four TVs. My next game of the week from or games from last week. I had a couple because I was taking notes because some of these games were so impressive. I just wanted to document them. So Ram Seahawks game was a great great game Seahawks Seahawks look like oh, dude, the Rams Seahawks look like old the Seahawks the Rams are the talk of the town right now yeah well of course they're still undefeated you know back when Seahawks had you know beast mode um who's obviously not producing quite as well and that wasn't uh, that long ago that they were legion of boom but doesn't it seem like forever ago that they were a good team so yeah but not he's not producing in Oakland but um who by the way got molly whopped by the Chargers last Sunday. Um, Ram Seahawks, number 12, man, just cooks. I think his name was just gets leveled by uh, Cedric Thompson. Head to head Touchdown, hit. Chicago. Head to head hit. He's not even listening. <laughs> One of the worst hits I've ever seen on, on football. Top 10, easy. Top 10, easy. This guy gets up and walks off the field. It was unbelievable. New rules are not helping, uh, really, in my opinion, with this head to head stuff. Was it clean? I mean, no, it was. This was a gnarly torpedo hit, man. It, this was a bad, bad, flagged? bad hit. Yeah, he, was, I, he did, but he wasn't ejected. But why aren't we losing the helmets? Is what I want to know. Why do we? Why do we need the? Why do we need all this? 
pad padding stuff. Like I said before, it, you you say it's rugby, but like a lot of even a lot of NFL players are saying, you want to get rid of the concussions and all this bloody hits. What is the point of all that shit? Of the Why are they running around with Tupperware strapped on their heads? They don't need it. I mean, you're only protecting yourself from the helmet. <laughs> so exactly, <laughs> get rid of the damn helmet that's causing all these problems for people. I have a friend that I, he was my best friend growing up when we were little kids. He played pro football. He played ball at Purdue, and then he went on to play for the New York Giants. Um, but he was a wide receiver, so he's not getting hit the same way, you know, as as, as some of these these guys that are up on the line and these these halfbacks. So um, anyway, Rams go for it on fourth and one. The quarterback sneak on the Seahawks side of the field and convert and go for the win. It was a great, great game. Great, great game. Uh, I'm definitely upset that there are no Rams in L.A. when I was in L.A. because that would have been a great, great thing to see, a winning football team. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're the talk of the town. I mean, the Dodgers are in the playoffs, and then uh, they pulled another ass yesterday. Yeah. The Dodgers did. But, but the Rams are, are the talk of the town. But to me, it's like – Everybody is already crowning them like they're Super Bowl champions. I'm like, come on, slow down. Let's let's let them play a fucking legit team. And then, uh, I mean, dude, you're in the NFL. Every week is 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 a struggle. Don't get me wrong. It's every week is is a tough win in the NFL, and they're five and zero. And I give them props for that. But sooner or later, the bubble's going to burst. And I'm not saying they're not going to be fifteen and one or go deep in the playoffs or anything like that. But if you talk to people in Los Angeles, they just think they're like, oh, yeah, the Rams can phone this one in. They're, they're going to kill everyone in the league. And I'm like, blow down, you know? So let's let's uh, let's break that down know. then. Let's break that down then. So you said um, the Rams, they're, you know, they're, they're, the, they're the king shits, obviously, because you don't have a football team in L.A. for, like, ever. So it's, it's, people are excited about that. But you also said that they have – And what's even funnier about that, too, is that the Chargers are like a stepchild bitch. No one even wants the Chargers yeah. here. So you, and they're you, actually kind of good. You say they haven't played anybody, so let's let's run through their whole season real quick. They beat the shit out of the Raiders in Week One. Raiders are pathetic this year. Arizona suck. Cardinals. They molly whopped the suck. Cardinals, thirty-four zero. Cardinals suck. So they beat the Chargers, but they only beat them by twelve. Chargers have a good team. They beat Minnesota by a touchdown. Minnesota has a good team. They beat Seattle by two points, and Seattle has a good team. So there's three teams that they play. So they've played somebody, I think. And the I three think, teams you mentioned are mediocre teams. Oh, come on. Come on. These guys are great. Seattle's, Seattle's a great team right now. So Denver, they're going to win this week. They're not going to lose to Denver. They're not going to lose to San Francisco the week after that. They There's no way they're losing to Green Bay week eight. They might. But then they got Drew Brees, who, by the way, did you see oh, Monday say, Night like, Football? Is, is, is he 14 years old? Because that motherfucker is playing like <laughs> he's a kid. Unbelievable. I mean, 72,000 plus years yards years? after Monday Night Football. Fire. And, and, and the funny thing is, and I heard the announcer say it on Monday Night Football, you mentioned great quarterbacks, Brett Favre, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Why do they never mention Drew Brees in that in that breath? I don't know. They don't, they All he does Brees. is deliver fucking victories. He single-handedly turned a franchise into a winner. And what I think is funny is that he used to play for the Chargers, and they're like, no, nah, he's not our guy. He's not going to be anything. And he goes to New Orleans with the Super Bowl for that city. Drew Brees, um, I think what it is is because he's not, he's not flashing. He's not, I don't know if fun to watch is the right term. You know what I'm saying? Like Brett mm. Favre was fun to watch. Mm. Uh, Tom Brady is, to me, not that fun to watch unless, like, the game's on or whatever. But, like, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, that, that whole – edge of your seat type deal but breeze just fucking wins and now he's number one on the freaking dude that's a huge record yeah totally like, total yards total passing yards yeah he's doing he's, he's a great quarterback um a lot of times dude, he's with, great. With much like you have like matt stafford you know who's who's the same thing he's consistent eh, he's he's less in the last couple of years but you know he's consistently scoring you know three thousand having these three thousand yard seasons or whatever plus and um 
one and done. He's right. He's not winning. They're not winning. So that's why you don't really hear about him. So they'll have like a, a mediocre season. But anyway, moving on. So they play Seattle again in week 10, which is going to be a challenging game. And then they have the Kansas City Chiefs the week after that, week 11. So they definitely don't have an easy road ahead of them. So hopefully both of those teams will still be undefeated to that at that point because then somebody's got to lose because Kansas well, City Chiefs is smacking up people too. They are, but you know what? To me, it looks like Bill Belichick and Tom Brady have righted the ship. Uh-oh, there's dogs barking outside. Now my dog is going ape shit. Um, tonight, Kansas City at New England, and we're going to see what goes down. We're going to see... Uh, much like the the bubble I talked was going to pop, that, that Mahomes, that Kansas City quarterback, mm. he's great. Don't get me wrong. But, like, he's a rook, and they need – he's going to have his growing pains. I got a feeling tonight is that game. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's just – you know, it, 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 Tom Brady's our age. And, and, and dude, <clears> like, <throat> I'm I'm freaking sore and hungover from – from, from day drinking yesterday, Tom Brady's playing NFL football. Yeah, but he's an elite I, athlete. I really you can't compare yourself to Tom fucking Brady as a yeah, but on I, a but physical I could the table. physical I could, level. I could put <laughs> that fucker probably drinks Coors Light three of them, and he's fucking done. No, fucking so, know. if he wants to step to me, we'll get the bottle of Jack going there, Tom. I'm calling you out right now. But anyway, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick are going to dismantle Mr. Mahomes and the Chiefs tonight. Okay, so you want to put money on it? Back to um, the LA Rams schedule. <laughs> so after the Chiefs, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know if, if they'll even be undefeated at that point because, like I said, I think when they're running up against, they'll lose tonight. They're running up against Green Bay and you know New Orleans and Seattle, Fuck and the then Packers. the Chiefs. Then they get a bye week. Then they got to deal with Detroit and then Chicago. There's no way, and then Philadelphia, and there's no way they're these are they got a tough, tough schedule ahead of them for the rest of the season, I think. But you know, yeah, the Rams, right? But like, yeah, the but, Rams. Yeah, no, I mean, and, and dude, don't get me wrong, they're gonna they're probably go, uh, you know, thirteen and three or, or they're whatever. They're going to the Super and, Bowl and this year, dude. The Rams. The Rams. Watch playoffs. We're talking about playoffs. <laughs> no, man, Todd no, Gurley is I'm running. He's, going to the he's running Bowl. through people, man. He's like, he's literally running over people. I watched them play oh, yeah. for the first time. Really watched them play when I watched them play the Seahawks last week, and that was the fire. Okay, game. here's here's my Super Bowl pick. It's going to be Chicago versus the Bears. <laughs> okay, so it's one That's team. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> one, yeah. one team. So, <laughs> You can't stop them. You can only hope to contain them. Because the monsters of the midway are having none of it. I'm going to go Bears 117, Chicago. Chicago Bears. What? Terror of the midways. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm telling you what. Chicago be Bears. Fun, though, uh, Come on. Chicago. Uh, they're winning right now, so I'm going to. Chicago yeah, Chipmunks, oh, maybe. But, oh. the, but the Bears. Never. <laughs> it's, uh, no, but I mean, you know, and, and this is what's this is what's so fun about football. I mean, we could sit here for probably six, seven, eight hours. No, we can no, no, we couldn't do that. So that would be boring as shit <laughs> for everybody involved. No, but but uh, what I'm saying is so great about it is to you and I, like like you know, it's it's a soap opera for guys. That's all it is. Mm. Is mm. you know, is is I, to me, I don't know if I like watching the game better or reading the shit on Monday through Friday. About you know all the articles and everything like that. It's just to me, it's just the whole. I think it's more uh, tribal. Actually, I don't really think that it's soap opera. Yeah, guys aren't really into drama like that. I think what it is for men is that we like to be part of a tribe. So that's why guys paint their faces and go to the game and start screaming at the other guys who painted their face to look like the other team. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm. And that's why no, we I get pissed it. off when our team loses because our tribe lost. They represent you know who we are. The Detroit Lions, the Washington Redskins, whatever. That's my team. That's my – you're wearing the hat. Your team lost. Your team Yeah, sucks. well, you know, I mean, and the fact that you said tribe is kind of offensive because, you know, my chick, squash, she's Indian, so. Yeah, okay, uh, and I'm partial Blackfoot Indian too, so I'm not offended. So, And I 
doubt that she. And gives you said a the shit. word black, so that's offensive to any millennial gives, right she now. She gives so. a shit. There are no millennials listen to, <laughs> you know. listen to this podcast, so I couldn't care less. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, exactly. They don't know how to listen. <laughs> so, um, Green Bay, uh, not Green Bay, Chicago is playing Miami right now. They're in the third quarter. We're gonna wrap this up. It's it's we're pushing, and um, uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll want to get on and watch the uh, second half. Yeah, no, I, I need to watch this fourth quarter. And, and uh, um, that Jack Daniels is not gonna drink itself. And like I said before, <laughs> everybody, hey, look, you you post on my wall or your wall hashtag. Free pizza and vodka, and you get free ancient DVDs. Oh, that's on my wall too. Cool. So I'll, we'll we'll definitely push that. If you if you um, join us halfway through the podcast, I don't know how you manage to do that because it's not live. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> stranger things, man. Uh, thirty minutes. <laughs> stranger uh, things. Some people just cue because through. I'm they're like, this stupid. part's boring, boring, boring. I just want to hear about the football part. <laughs> I just yeah. want to hear about the football. I don't want to hear about your guys' new dog and the freaking sex dolls and all that other shite. So. Um, <laughs> Next week we'll talk about sex dogs, <laughs> plastic sex dogs. <laughs> there will be no such thing. So you think? Um, yeah, you picked New England to beat the Chiefs on your picks for this Tonight. week. Here's you're, the deal: you're insane. And they're at home. <laughs> Have All you right, lost you your mind? <laughs> that's you that's here's the, the game. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one thirty in the morning. Okay, that, here's that the deal. Comes on. Here's, here's, here's the fucking deal. Here's the fucking deal. I put my money where my mouth is. Because I shoot my mouth off all the freaking time. Here's the deal. <laughs> if New England doesn't win that game tonight, yeah. and you're recording right now, yeah. so yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, so this is gonna be, you know, I've lost a lot of bets like this. If New England doesn't win tonight, the next time you come to Los Angeles, <laughs> a limo will be waiting for you at the airport <laughs> on me. Oh, man, I have never rooted against Brady so hard as I'm going to root against <laughs> Dude, him tonight. You. And I'm going to stay I'm up. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to kick back. If New England does not win this game tonight, I will send a limo. I'm not saying no, like, six-passenger thing or whatever. It's probably going to be a, a an Uber Prius, but still, it's going to be a... As long as the windows are tinted, it, it can be one of It can yeah. be a town car. It can be a yeah, metro car. It can be a town car with... With a couple little uh, bottles of uh, Mickey's malt liquor in the back. You know, it'd be cool. <laughs> no, no, um, wait. Wait a second. God damn it. It's mandatory that those little Mickey's pizza hand grenades are in the back. Are in the back. Yeah. It has to be. And there'll be, uh, there'll be some rainbow pizza and some vodka. And uh, Little Caesars. They Mike Dicka in 1985, <laughs> the Bears star, you know. Oh, yeah. I hate Miami because they beat him on that Monday night. But uh, so I'm telling you, if look at that. Dan Marino and Peyton Manning. Look at that. Sitting together, but I'm saying right now, if New England doesn't win the night, I'm sending a limo for you to LAX. All right, well, I'm definitely cashing that in. I was gonna get me one of those little pussy ass Enterprise rental cars, so I'm not gonna do that now. Um, perfect. So we're out of here. Hit us up at oh! <laughs> Free Pizza okay. and Vodka on that's the hashtag Free Pizza and Vodka on Instagram. Follow us there. We can get to, uh, get your bet. Your bet on because we put uh, put our picks up there. We actually do, are doing this pretty good this week. Um, hit us up on. Um, I think we have a Facebook page now. Free pizza and vodka. Yeah, I think we do. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I think so. Um, somebody set that up. I don't know what's going on with that yet. Um, follow the shows on Spotify. I'm about to burp, so I'm talking weird. <laughs> And at the hiccups, um, follow the shows on Spotify, um, Podbean. You guys, you can download the stuff there. Follow us there. iTunes podcasts. Um, I'm probably going to get the shows back up on Stitcher and TuneIn Radio whenever uh, I can get the and MySpace feed. Oh, MySpace. MySpace is still cracking, man. That's what's up. If you're a musician, I'm telling you. So that's what's up, and we I'm are a pretend musician. <laughs> You're a wannabe, wannabe. <laughs> I felt like I had something else I wanted to say, but uh, I forget. It doesn't matter. We'll pick it up next week. No, I'm, so. I'm, I'm done with it because the fourth quarter is coming up. And Bears are looking good for a change. So. <laughs> Bears. Go uh, Miami, and uh, we'll see you guys next week on the show. Free pizza and vodka. Peace. Later.